Hi guys, so today I have a very exciting video for me because I'm going to be sitting down with you guys and sharing with you what my current favorite fragrances are. Now I have a few for men, a few for women, a few unisex, but obviously I'm going to clarify this in the video, which ones are for men, women, unisex, blah, 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 we know. But I am super excited. I feel like I didn't do this type of video for a long time. I don't even remember the last time I did like a current favorites. I don't remember, but I cannot wait to just sit with you guys and share with you what I'm wearing, what I'm loving, what I think is the best right now, any revelations that I've had in the fragrance uh, industry. So yeah, I cannot wait for this video and I can't wait to just talk with you guys. And I do want to say that this video is in collaboration with a new retailer that I recently discovered and it is called FragranceUSA.com. Now they're a relatively new company. And when I was looking at their website, it is beautiful, but I noticed that they didn't have so many fragrances i do want to mention actually a few that i included in this video are available on the website i do want to say that the founder of the company i spoke with him many times and i asked him i was like your website is beautiful but you need to get some more fragrances and he was like no 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 we're adding to them every single day you guys will see that in the next six months the fragrance website will have pretty much every fragrance possible to buy. I was really excited to collaborate with them because they are 100% trusted. They work directly with the brands themselves, which is very important to me when I work with a retailer, is that they are not a third party retailer which is very common. FragranceUSA.com, they work directly with the brand. So I know that they are 100% trusted and I've ordered from them myself. So anyways, ramble over. Everything will be linked in the description box. If you guys are interested, definitely go and check them out. Like I'm serious guys, they have great prices, great website, super fast shipping, same day. So just go and check them out. No pressure to buy, but I want to talk about my current favorites. So let's get into it. Now, this fragrance is from Carolina Herrera and it is called Gold Incense. Now, this is beautiful. It is not what I expected at all when I was looking into this fragrance. I was expecting it to be super heavy, oody, crazy, and it is nothing like that at all. This fragrance smells so high quality it is crazy. It has a touch of this kind of smoky oud-like character underneath and on top it's beautiful. It's creamy. It has some cinnamon. It almost smells like it has some tonka bean. Very smooth and buttery woody scent if that makes any sense. It is gorgeous. It has a touch of sweetness. It's very, very unisex in my opinion. I think this would smell incredible on a man. Really, I think that this fragrance would smell incredible on a man. So if you're a guy, definitely check out this fragrance. If you're a girl and you like more unique scents like Oud for Greatness, etc., definitely check this one out. It is beautiful. I actually wore it today. No joke, I wore this fragrance today and I just, I really love it. Like I said, it's a woody, deep, creamy, um, smooth fragrance and it's just beautiful super super high quality i'm not a fan of the bottle to be honest of the carolina herrera private blend i don't like the bottles but the fragrances are very high quality and i love a lot of them so gold incense from carolina herrera definitely definitely check it out if it interests you if it sounds like it's up your alley, go check it out. It's amazing. So I think that you guys will recognize this one from my haul. This fragrance is from Zerzhov, aka one of my favorite houses right now. And actually Fragrance USA, they have uh, a lot of Zerzhovs on their website at very good prices. So I just want to let you guys know that. This fragrance is called Bouquet Idil. Now you guys know I talked about it in my unboxing video. I am obsessed. I am obsessed with this fragrance. I am obsessed. I am in love. That is all I have to say. This is beautiful. I would say it's a touch more feminine, but could easily be a unisex fragrance. Actually, Pierre likes to wear this one. Me too. But anyway, uh, this fragrance, like I said, it's gorgeous. It's sweet. It has vanilla. It has cinnamon. It has a little bit of tonka bean. It is sweet and woody and not too much though. It's not a sickly sweet gourmand fragrance. It's not like Lyra from Zerzhov. It's not like that. I am just head over heels for this one. I think it is super, super sexy and intimate. And for me, it smells exactly like a date night scent. This smells like a date night scent to me and I'm just in love with it. So Bouquet Idil from Zerzhov, well actually Kazmarati, but Zerzhov in general, 
it is beautiful and you guys really have to check it out if you like the same fragrances as me you're going to love this fragrance so much it's gorgeous next up we have one for the men and this fragrance is the new fragrance from amouage and it is called enclave this fragrance is fantastic it is minty and ambery and deep and woody underneath it is incredible i think it's hands down one of the best from Amouage now in within their new releases in the past five years. I think that this one is probably one of my favorites. It is incredible. I have maybe about five, four or five fragrances from Amouage that I love for men. Enclave is now one of them. I think it is one of the best. It's sexy. It's fresh. It has that beautiful minty note on top, but it dries down to being like a sweet ambery with that touch of mint note still in the scent. I love, love, love this scent. I really think that this fragrance from Amouage is going to get uh, very popular in my opinion because it still smells not mainstream but very likable it's a very likable and watch scent it's nothing too crazy or unique or peculiar it's a very likable scent from amouage that i feel like is going to be very mass appealing so enclave minty ambery scent fantastic check it out okay so next up we have one from royal crown and it is called sultan now i did see a few people talking about this one and for me it is my favorite from this brand royal crown i know I know, I know, I know, I know this brand is insanely priced. Like, it's insane how expensive they are. But Sultan, for me, it's really, really worth checking out. It is this beautiful, warm, deep, woody vanilla, a little bit smoky, kind of like has this inky quality to it. It's very deep and very ambery and woody. It's just divine. If you like gourmands, but you want something not sickly sweet and not really your typical gourmand something a little more unique this is the one for you i would say that this fragrance is 100 percent unisex as long as you like your vanilla your more sweet scents your more dark oriental fragrances you're gonna love sultan from royal crown it's just beautiful okay guys so going to the complete opposite direction i have to talk about this fragrance because i don't know if you can see but i've worn it a lot and if you watch my most recent video this is my out of the shower fragrance this is my out of the shower scent. I have to give it a mention, even though I'm sorry to say it guys, this fragrance lasts 30 seconds on your skin and then it's gone. Like literally it's gone. I can't help it because I love the scent. Like I really, I love how this smells. It kind of smells like a little bit like hairspray. If I'm being honest, like when you spray hairspray in your hair, kind of gives me that vibe to be honest. It's a very typical fragrance guys. It's fresh. It's a little fruity, it's juicy, it's a little floral, watery type of scent, but I just, I can't help it. I can't help it because I really enjoy the fragrance, especially just wearing it out of the shower. So I did want to give it a quick mention because I'm being honest with you guys, I am loving this scent, even though the longevity, it's shameful. Uh, the scent is really good, but it isn't groundbreaking or gonna rock your world I just wanted to mention it because it is one of my current favorites. So Bottega Veneta Illusion for her really good, but it has some It has some bad qualities about her. Okay, so next up quickly gonna mention this one because it's it's not really a current favorite, but it's something that I'm wearing a lot nowadays. And you guys already know how much I love Initio Parfum. You know it. You know it already. I don't need to talk about it anymore. You guys already know how much I love it. This is Side Effect from Initio. And it's probably my most worn Initio Parfum Privé. Initio Parfum Privé. Beautiful, boozy, uh, sweet, vanilla, tobacco, rum, woody underneath super sexy 100 percent unisex for men and women if you like jazz club from maize and margiela if you like herod from puffin de mali this is your next pickup this is your next buy you need it in your life it is so sexy you're going to get complimented you're going to get noticed it's delicious it's sexy and intoxicating and i can't stop wearing it i cannot stop wearing this fragrance and it's been a favorite for a very long time as I said, you guys know how much I love Inicio, so I don't want to talk about them too much in this video, but side effect is my current love. And next up, we have one from Montal, and it is Oud Tobacco. Now, I did mention this again in a previous video that I uploaded, and I wanted to talk about it more in depth. This fragrance is beautiful. It is beautiful. It is unique. It's intoxicating, but it hits you, you know, like it hits you. It hits differently. She hits differently, right? 
it is a super unique and complex fragrance. It is not something like Intense Cafe from Montau, which I love, by the way, but it's more unique. It's creamy, it's woody, it's spicy. It has, um, I think it's cumin maybe in here. I don't even know, but I'm just telling you guys how I feel. It's a woody, creamy, smooth, spicy, sweet, a little floral scent. And it is just super unique, really addictive, really intoxicating. And it's gonna be this sort of fragrance that people are gonna ask you like, what are you wearing? Like, what fragrance is that? I've never smelled something like that before. It's really unique and I just absolutely love the scent. I cannot tell you guys enough. Beautiful fragrance from Montau, lasts forever on my skin. And it is a current favorite. Like I wore it, uh, I think like twice this week and I'm just in love with it. I'm actually going through a little Montau phase right now where I'm planning to buy quite a few more because I know the house is not my favorite house in the world, but their fragrances, some of them are really, really nice. So this is one of them that I love. Montau uh, Oud Tobacco, one for the men. I talked about Montau, let's talk about Montserrat because they're the same pretty much. Montserrat Oud Lemon Mint. Now this fragrance for me is one of the best. For a man, this is one of the best. Now, I'm going to tell you guys why. I have Cedric Boise over in my collection. And honestly, when I smell it, I, I feel underwhelmed. Even though it's good, I feel underwhelmed. I feel like Cedric Boise is just... It's just that typical woody, fresh, aromatic, citrusy sort of scent. Whereas Oud Lemon Mint... It has something unique. It's minty, it's fresh, but then it has that kind of sweet and like ambery touch to it, kind of like Enclave. I have to be honest, I think I like the Oud Lemon Mint more. Shouldn't really be saying that. But I love Oud Lemon Mint. I think it's fantastic. It's intoxicating. It's loud and projecting. It lasts a very long time on your skin. Super sexy, versatile. I'm just in love with it. For a man, this is a fantastic fresh fragrance. Something that is gonna, again, make people go like, oh, like, what are you wearing? It doesn't smell like Bleu de Chanel or Dior Sauvage. It is something a little more different. And I think it is fan freaking tastic. So Oud Lemon Mint from Montserrat, fantastic scent. Go get it if you don't have it already. So quickly gonna talk about this fragrance, Cli Chanel from BDK. As you guys can see, it's still one of my favorites. It's still something I wear all the time. I am in love with it. I cannot tell you guys enough. BDK is a creamy, woody, spiced, cardamom, sandalwood, iris, sweet vanilla sort of scent. Beautiful. It really smells to me like a cashmere sweater. It smells like a cream colored cashmere sweater would look like. That's exactly what it smells like. It's smooth. It's woody. It's sandalwood. It's creamy. It's a little bit sweet. It's Parisian chic to me. This fragrance is Parisian chic. If you love that vibe, the Parisian chic vibe, that minimal Parisian chic vibe. This is a fragrance for you. It is incredible. So I wouldn't say it's sexy. I would say it's just, it's that very intoxicating, warm and comforting scent that just makes me feel so happy when I wear it. So Cli Chanel from BDK, uh, incredible scent, 10 out of 10. I still love it as you guys can see. I still wear it as you guys can see. And you really, really need to check this one out if you haven't already, BDK in general incredible brand. Okay guys, so next up we have Ivory Root from Zerjoff. Honestly, I could do a whole entire video on Zerjoff. I'm so in love, but Ivory Root is divine. It is divine. If you like fragrances like Coromandel from Chanel, you're going to love this fragrance, not because they smell exactly the same or anything like that, but they have that very classy, patchouli, a little bit warm and powdery sort of touch to it. Ivory Root is amazing, period. It is a beautiful, like, spiced vanilla, powdery, very sophisticated vanilla scent. Very sophisticated, very classy. I see this one going to an event, dressing up, going on date night, going for dinner. I really see this fragrance in that situation. Ivory Root by Zerjoff, one of my favorite Zerjoff fragrances. I think it is just... It's just breathtaking to me. It's so beautiful. The perfumery, the craftsmanship, the craftsmanship, the craftsman, blah, 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 blah. craftsmanship of this fragrance. I can just smell it. I can smell it when I smell the fragrance. It is just beautiful and I love it. If you like vanilla, but you want something very sophisticated and more upper class and not a straight up vanilla, this is a fragrance for you. 
finally. I'm gonna talk about my favorite fragrance from men that I discovered in 2020. And I know that's crazy because this fragrance came out a long time ago and everyone knew it. I don't know what took me so long, but it is Tuxedo from YSL. <sighs> Hands down, the sexiest fragrance that I discovered in the past maybe two years. This fragrance is breathtaking to me. It is breathtaking. Tuxedo from YSL. I, I am blown away. Like, I am blown away by this fragrance. I think the last time I was so blown away by a men's fragrance was Leighton. That's how long ago. And I discovered Leighton over two years ago. Tuxedo is my new love. It is sex in a bottle. It is green it has this leather suede effect to it without being a leather like ombre leather from tom ford or tuscan leather or godolphin from mali this is just perfection pure perfection class sex elegance sophistication intoxication how many other words can i use to describe it it is just a 12 out of 10 fragrance. I cannot tell you guys enough. The longevity is amazing. The projection is amazing. The compliments are amazing. The everything about this scent is amazing. I see it more for date night, a formal event, uh, when you're a little more dressed up, maybe a dinner, a night out, blah, blah, blah. I don't really see this fragrance being a day to day white t-shirt scent because it it smells too good for that. Like it really smells too good to be a white t-shirt scent. Although you can wear this one as a white t-shirt scent. So I do want to say Tuxedo was easily my favorite fragrance that I discovered in like the past two years. Even though it took me a very long time to get on the bandwagon. I'm here. I'm here. Hello. Salut. Uh, it's incredible. And you guys need to go out and buy this fragrance ASAP. Because it is magical. It is magical. Tuxedo by YSL. Okay guys, and lastly, we have one from Serge Lutons, which I have been wearing myself. Pierre has been wearing it. It is a masterpiece in perfumery. It is definitely a unisex scent. And I will say that if you like Consoir from MFK, Grand Soir from MFK, you will love Ombre Sultan from Serge Lutons. It is a masterpiece in perfumery. It is a deep, warm, powdery, a uh, fuzzy amber scent. It is not like Ombre Nuit from Christian Dior. It is not a spicy amber. It is a warm, deep, cocooning, uh, sophisticated, a little more vintage and dusty amber scent. It is, like I said, I can't say it enough. It is a masterpiece in perfumery. This is amber to me. This is what I think of when I think of an amber fragrance. It is right here. And like I said, if you like Grand Soir from MFK, you have to try this fragrance right here. It is a 12 out of 10 amazing masterpiece. I leave your recommendations because I am on a buying spree of fragrances right now and I cannot stop. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Don't forget to check out fragranceusa.com because they stock and sell a lot of the brands that I spoke about today. I didn't do that on purpose whatsoever, not at all, but I just want you guys to check out this website because like I said, 100% trusted, really beautiful website, super fast customer service. And don't forget to check out fragranceusa.com. I will link their website and every information that you need to know in the description bar down below. They're really nice people, fantastic websites and 100% uh, trusted. So what more could you ask for? Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.